I'm doing um, jumbo grill tonight. I'm doing a little jumbo grill tonight. So I've been watching uh, the the two fellas, the two. <laughs> they're so hilarious. These two comedians, who uh, they've been doing work for a long time. I didn't realize they were the same ones who did the Paul Walker statue, but they are. They are the same ones who did went down to San Clemente City Council in 2017 and argued in favor of putting a Paul Walker statue on the San Clemente Pier. So these are the same two guys that have been doing all of the anti uh, he's They've been trolling anti-maskers ever since the pandemic started. They did it in Huntington Beach. Apparently they've done it in San Clemente. They went to like an evangelical church. But it's so wild. Like I just found, I just it just came up in my YouTube feed that they did it at the San Clemente Pier, and it it brought back so many memories for me of when I went down to the San Clemente Pier in 2019 with some volunteers for Bernie, and we were like um, doing some you know sign waving and talking to people as they walked by about uh, voting for Bernie. You know, this is like roughly two years ago um, that we went down to the pier and we got pretty mixed results just like they did, right? Well, they got, they only uh, show you the video of the people who were like really giving them our time. Some of the shit that they heard, um, they had one guy come up and cough on them and that was like, that was, I think that was probably the hardest moment for them because they're trying to be comedians and be safe about it. But then they got fucking coughed on by some crazy anti-masker and they're trying to still be comedic about it and be like, oh, dude, that was so unchill. But you can tell, like, the two dudes are like, wow, that was some fucked up shit. Like, we might actually get sick at this point, you know, because the guy was like... They did have full-blown masks on. So, I mean, they were somewhat safe, and it was an open-air environment. But, yeah, I mean, like, I I had a similar... Like, I literally did the same fucking thing, like, two years ago. I went down there, and I was sign-waving for Bernie. And even though... Because that was 2019 that I did the sign waving for Bernie and I talked to people about voting for him. But before that, I went down there uh, in 2018 for the primary, the congressional primary, when Colonel Doug Applegate was running for Congress. And we did a like a sign waving for him too. And he had like, a, he was doing a train thing where he was going to get on the train and uh, get off at a few different locations. And like advertise his campaign in the 49th district. And I went down there for that one too. And um, San Clemente is a weird beast, y'all. San Clemente is a weird fucking beast. Um, I'm surprised that you started in San Clemente, Doug. I, I, I wonder why you didn't start at the um, Capistrano Depot. That's a better location in my... Well, I guess you got the ocean view and shit. But the Capistrano Depot has the mission there. It's got all this old town stuff. It's got some historic buildings. And it's kind of a... In my opinion, it's a cooler location. <laughs> but I guess... Yeah, you get the ocean behind you if you start in San Clemente. So I'm I'm watching this. I just shared it on my YouTube channel. I guess I'll I'll drop the link on this live stream. So, also, I did that video about how I'm still getting trolled every day. I'm getting trolled every fucking day. I have, I, I'll be real with you guys, I have called the FBI. I have called the FBI. Because, um, but the thing is that there is, uh, the problem with what we're going through as, as political activists is that people have freedom of speech. So, it's like, where is that crossover? And it's really hard to um, prosecute people for defamation which is what this dude's been doing to me. But on top of it, uh, I, I just don't know, uh, like, because he hasn't physically threatened me, it's very hard to come after him. However, he does have a criminal record, right? Like, so I keep telling him, look, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to keep law enforcement informed on what's happening here. Uh, I have informed the FBI that he's doing this shit. He does have a criminal record. 
he is clearly doing this for political reasons. He, uh, is, it, it, to my mind, based on the way he's acting and the points that he's point, putting forward, he has been hired by somebody to do it. And um, it does. It happens on a daily basis to me. But there's not much I can do about it because people in America, we have freedom of speech, which is a good thing to a certain degree, unless you're harassing and stalking people. That's not cool. Um, dude, I mean, you're seriously in law enforcement radar. If you think that you're not, <laughs> you're, you're nuts. Because, I mean, you yourself, like, have dropped a bunch of bullshit, like, trying to be like, she worked in law enforcement for 22 years. I never did. I didn't work in law enforcement. But what I did do is I worked for a company for four years writing proposals, selling facial recognition technology and fingerprinting systems and iris scan systems. And the majority of our client base were law enforcement. And yes, I do have friends in law enforcement. So if you think that you're not in the radar of law enforcement, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> you're fucking wrong. Okay. Plus, I mean, plus on top of it, like Don Barnes knows that I want to run a candidate, a candidate against him. He knows it. He fucking knows I want to run a, 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 like, find a candidate to run against him for sheriff. So, every, it's not like law enforcement is not aware of me. They are aware of me. And if they're aware of me, they're aware of you. And the fact that you're fucking doing this to me all the time, they're aware of it. Okay? People are watching my social media. That's why you're watching my social media. Some crazy shit. All right, so, uh, yeah, I did this fucking uh, sign-waving event, like, two years ago. I still have pictures of it. We went down to the San Clemente Pier, and we had a very similar experience where we had all sorts of bizarre people come and talk to us. But this is before the pandemic, so it's not, like, about mask usage or anything. It was literally about, like, voting in the presidential election. But um, I'll drop you the link. I'll drop you the link. These two dudes got voted um, on, uh, I think it's the Orange County Register. I think it was the Register. They, last year, or earlier this year, I can't remember exactly when it happened, but it was within the last year, right? They were voted uh, part of the top 100 most influential people in Orange County. And it's because they are these two comedians who are bros, uh, they're like surfer bros, but they keep um, going to these anti-mask situations where they just make the make so much fun of these people. And um, I'm glad that you guys haven't caught COVID yet because that's some scary shit that that one dude, that buff dude, like came up and coughed on you. That sucks. Um, but they they have like the most hilarious like surfer references and bro references when they're doing their comedy and it's so orange county it's so orange county it's so orange county um but it's also it's not only orange county because of their surfer bro references it's orange county because it's such a great illustration of the kind of sarcastic sense of humor that a lot of us have about how much we make fun of ourselves um and how uh, a lot of the humor that we do is like pretending we're stupid when we're actually really smart. And that's what they're doing. And they keep doing this over and over again. Like that whole Paul Walker statue thing was freaking, I mean, it's gnarly times. <laughs> it's gnarly times, y'all. <laughs> 